M0 FXB SI4732 mini receiver. Firmware version 2.28. Of course, the links are in the description. The instruction manual is on the right hand side. So we've now got our signal meter and some additional features. One of them being Wi-Fi. But how do we how do we activate Wi-Fi? Because uh, there is a process, and I've had to read the instruction manual to do this, which I'll link in. So basically, you'll see on my device that there's a green Wi-Fi. Now, when I first turned it on, it was red because it wasn't connected. As once you've got the Wi-Fi connected, you can upload, and it says it here, EIBI, the most comprehensive database. In addition to broadcast stations, EIBI database also includes utility stations, such as aircraft, beacons, weather facts, maritime broadcast. And what you do is once the Wi-Fi is connected, there is a setting there. I'm gonna show you how to do the Wi-Fi, but as I learned, so you go press and settings and look, Go up and down it says just above wi-fi load eibi and when your internet is properly connected it loads it and you only actually have to load it to the radio once or obviously every now and again uh it doesn't have to be loaded every single time you turn it on and so that when you're doing searches um it's going to give you more information so it's a bit like rds but it's it's not the sort of broadcast version it's actually the sort of i would say the hobby uh, shortwave version of doing things. Uh, so let's have a look at the actual settings. So I'm actually connected to my radio now, and you'll see here that the address is 10.1.1.1 ATS Mini, and that's a live connection. And uh, we've got memory channels here. We can actually add memory channels. Uh, I haven't actually done one yet, but there's memory channels now. Whether we can actually add them on the, on this page or we use the radio. I'll learn, but one thing I have seen is if you go to configuration, we can create a username and password and we can add our SSID uh, and save that. So I'm going to quickly do that because I actually haven't done that yet. But before I do, I'm going to show you how I connected my Wi-Fi. And it, it's not that it's hard, but it's just that I'd never done it before. So this is actually in one of my older units. I've got a newer, more modern unit than this that has uh, better hardware, similar but better. And that's this one here, okay? Um, it's got a louder speaker, better speaker out, and uh, better amplifiers. But the old cheap one that I bought, this one, which I use for testing, I have loaded the firmware on, and it's got the signal meter, and you can change from this signal meter to a tuning dial, and that, a live tuning dial. So what we're gonna do is, just when you press, and go to settings, turn to Wi-Fi, Okay, press and then go up and down, okay, like so. And the one I connected to was I did the API connect, okay. Now I did a AP only, and what it did see the red, it's gone red now. It may go green because I've already connected. It's now sending out that 10.1.1 address. And so when you put that into the browser on your PC, yeah, it will. And then, there you are, Mike. It's already gone green. Did you notice that if I press the settings, you have the API, hit the Wi-Fi, API connect. You have connect there as well, look. Uh, yeah, I think it just sort of reboots it. But once connected, you get to this page here. So it's not gone green yet, so I'm going to go press settings, Wi-Fi. And this time I'm going to go up to AP and I'm going to put connect as well. And it does show you down here, there's an, an address that you can connect to as well, rather than IP address. It's very fast. And you'll see here, when I hit my Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi, let me just move that out of the way, it's a bit big. I'll do it here. Wi-Fi, click, available. And one of them is ATS Mini, okay? ATS Mini, so we're gonna hit that, and we're gonna go connect. And it's gone green already. And there it is, it's suddenly appeared on the left. So we're now talking to it again. And so what I'm gonna do, and I'm doing this with you live, um, I'm just gonna put in my SSID and password, and then I'm gonna hit the word save here. I'm also noticing that at the bottom, I can put in my country. So we'll do that as well. So hopefully that will set the time. Well, that's interesting. It's also allowing me to set the, the color. I'm going to actually do a different color. I mean, default is the black. Just to see, I'll do space, just to see if that actually saves. And I'll hit save here. 
And you've also got here, it says a reverse scrolling and zoomed menu, which I've noticed underneath the, uh, it's actually rebooting. So yeah, after the reboot, I've now got my, uh, my new IP address. So it means we are internet connected. Let's try the, the update now. So we're just going to press, get that information. You know, once you're on Wi-Fi, it opens up a lot of possibilities, but anyway, press settings um, and then load EIBI it says loading EIBI schedule connecting hopefully it'll connect but if it doesn't work the first time keep trying oh no it's doing it so you do this every now and again and you know come on it's a 20 pound item I mean yeah massive thanks to the developers I put all the links github and everything in the description and this has turned, you know, I mean, it was brilliant anyway, but look what I'm doing, Wi-Fi. And um, there's actually, if I remember, right, there's a Bluetooth module in this. Look at this, 7257 bytes, 928 entries. So we'll wait a while and then we're going to have a little search and see what that looks like in practice. It's actually still going strong. You can see it changing. It stores it on the device, on your SI4732 mini pocket receiver. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe and, and like, and thanks for watching. It's very slight, but it is changing. It's gone up to 78229. It's, it's like almost jumps. So still loading. I recommend you check out the, you know, the, the new instruction manual. And uh, just looking at some of the titles, you've got Wi-Fi, RSI meter, settings, save icon, the top right battery, battery voltage, frequency center of screen, FM station name, alternative UI, and you've got different colors as well. You can see the signal meter at the bottom, and then you get the tune and dial, direct frequency input, press and rotate the encoder. I saw that. I don't know if it will let me do it while it's uploading, but you just press and then you turn no it won't let me while it's loading but and it allows you to select the the different numbers on the screen to have larger increments of uh changing the frequency menu mode band step seek scan squelch memory 32 slots and it says here yeah. it is also possible to edit the memory slots via the serial port or via the web-based tool okay well, i haven't been able to change it yet but i'll have a go um, in the browser, squelch, bandwidth selections, AGC, attenuation, SSB, settings menu, brightness, calibration, offset, FM region, theme, UA layout, colors, layout, zoom menu, display the current selected menu items using a larger font. I saw that, yeah. Scroll direct to sleep. And there's all your Wi Fi that we just did, really. Uh, there are a couple of modes, APO, yeah, that's all your different Wi-Fi modes, you can read about that, schedule, there's the EIBI schedule that we're doing right now, and then you can reset the switch off the receiver, press and hold the encoder, turn it on, and release, and it resets it, uh, okay, band table there for some interesting things you might want to, that, serial interface, oh, you can, so there's a USB interface, and you can actually go into it using PuTTY, and um, so it's all about experimentation development and then sometimes just us enjoying other people's hard work and you can actually do screenshots so there's that i am waiting for this to load i watched in one video where it loaded very quickly so it could be that my older model has got a smaller i don't know memory chip in it and because it's uh yeah it's got three thousand five hundred entries so far 